Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Well, actually, I'm, yeah, it's still morning. It's like 11 o'clock. I got up rather. I don't even see. It wasn't even late. I just didn't start filming. I just like was not in. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right frame of mind. I don't think that's what it is. I'm a little bit like tired, but I don't know if I feel tired. Like a tired, like you're going to fall asleep on the couch tired. I think I feel kind of like worn down from a lot of information. So this weekend I took a break and then I thought because I think I sat around for two days, I think that is making me a little lazy, but I'm gonna combat that laziness. And um, I am on a challenge to actually do um, this challenge that was sent to me. A friend sent it out to um, um, all of us on social media in uh, his social media world and um, and so it's it, it seems like it's pretty easy to do it's a little bit each day and you increase each day your Sundays are your day off so that's nice I was already planning on starting my T25 back up again, which is something I've done in the past, which I love. And it actually follows almost the same guidelines. It's a five-week thing. That This is a five-week thing. And so I have them here. And um, I just basically pulled the T25 alpha because there's an alpha and a beta. And then I, all of these are all the videos for T25 are on the Beachbody app. And so I just pay for the... Um, it paid for six months so it's paid for six months it's done it paid for and so i'm going to use it because if you pay for something got to use it right makes it worth it so here it is so this is what i'm going to be doing for the next five weeks and then sunday's off and then on the t25 saturdays it says just stretching so i'm going to do my little stretches that i have and then also the um the challenge uh uh, Saturday whatever it tells me to do so but I'm not gonna do them all together I'm gonna break them up throughout the day so that way I feel like I'm moving a little bit throughout the day and then I'm gonna do like a 15 or 20 minute walk outside because it's supposed to stay pretty beautiful like this where I'm at which is in like the 70s so I'm thinking an easy little 15 20 minute walk around my block to the mailbox and stuff. It's a, I have a very quiet neighborhood, so you don't really see a whole lot of people. And if you just cross the street, you're definitely not going to be around anybody. Um, and then uh, I'll see if <laughs> my doggie's able to <laughs> do her thing. She's actually over here on the sidewalk laying down. Yeah. She's loving that warm weather, too. <laughs> She's liking it. So I did um, see online two things. I saw um, Carnival has uh, canceled all their cruises up through another month, basically. So it was like April 10th or 11th, and now it's May 11th. And then MSC has canceled, I think, all the way through the end of May. I'm going to put it up here just to be sure. Maybe it's still the middle of May. Maybe I read it wrong, but I think it was until the, the end of May. Um, I have a feeling... Norwegian will be coming later on today, so if they pop up later on today, I'll pop back in and uh, give you that information. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking it's going to be like I told you last week with World Caribbean making the announcement. It's going to be a domino effect. Everybody's going to start doing it. Now, I'm listening to Dr. Fossey this morning on a morning show, which is kind of like, I don't want to say the federal doctor, the who's who of who. Um, he is the one, basically, I'm listening to. He's the one. He's the dude. He's the head doc. And um, whatever he says kind of goes. And basically, he was saying that we're going to, through the month of April, we're going to see an increase in deaths, unfortunately, loss of life. And then we're also going to see another increase in the number of cases beyond the, the peak of the loss of life. So it's kind of interesting. So it's like we're going to peak and then the, but the cases are still going to increase. So this is my thought. And he's saying this is just the month of April. He's not discussing anything beyond that. Um, which is probably a smart thing to do because we're like in like a week by week holding pattern of what is actually occurring for us in this country, right? So what I'm thinking is that we're going to um, 
I have a feeling we're going to be in self-isolation at least through the end of May, to be honest. So I think the cruise lines going until either the middle or end of May is appropriate. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to go beyond May. I truly don't expect any cruises happening until, in my mind, I have a feeling it's going to be late July, maybe early August. That's just my that's just my thought. I don't know if that could be true, but I, I just have that feeling. The way the doctor was talking, I don't think they're going to lift anything or or actually allow any large gatherings or anything like that until we see a huge decrease, a huge percentage where it's actually going on the down scale. And I don't think they're going to want to say, let's do a whole bunch of large gathering events now. Um, just because we're decreasing because that's going to increase it again. So I think they're going to really make you huddle in and ask for no large gatherings, possibly through the summer. So that could be June and July. And then I think after that in August is going to be like maybe cautionary. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so literally there's not much going on. Um, I, we, Six Flags Magic Mountain isn't far from me and they put out a notification as well that they are remaining closed for an extended period of time. Um, if anybody goes to any of the Six Flags parks, I'm sure this is the same. If you have memberships or anything like that, um, then, uh, um, if you have memberships or anything, I lost my train of thought. Um, you can actually go on and put a pause on your monthly payments. Um, I had actually canceled mine at the end of last year because I knew I probably wouldn't be doing anything until the summer, which now I'm really not. Um, and so I actually canceled mine. So thinking I would do something next year, this year. And, uh, but so anyway, you can put a pause on your membership so you're not paying that monthly fee, just so you're aware of that. I don't know how Disneyland is handling it. Um, I'm going to send that back to um, someone who knows a little more about Disney than I do, which is DNG Explorers um, and uh, a couple of the other ones that go to kind of Disney. But DNG Explorers are the ones that I know the best. And so they may have more information on if you're paying like a monthly fee or anything like that um, and I don't know how the annual passes or anything like that work but maybe they have more knowledge about that than I do so anyway all right so I am gonna kind of work on my backyard just a little bit it's a little bit before lunchtime I want to say it's like 1130 maybe 11 1130 and so I'm gonna work my backyard a little bit um, <sighs> I don't know what else I don't know what else to do. I I tiff, tell you the truth. I this was supposed to be um I was supposed to be on a cruise right now. So, um with work, I didn't really have anything scheduled for this week. So, I don't have a lot of meetings or anything. I do have one meeting, so I am doing a my um face-to-face -face <laughs> meeting with my boss this week. So, we will get some things hammered out on what um he what he wants me to do and what he wants me to research while we're in this holding pattern to prepare when they do make a decision what that would look like so anyway all right i want to get started i'm not going to film this okay <laughs> this isn't like a patio that needs to be filmed right now it's just like uh, <laughs> it's, it's it needs a lot of work this was the actually this was the summer we were going to plan on really working on this backyard so who knows <laughs> Who knows? So I have this on the wall here. It's kind of like next to my desk stuff. And uh, so hoping that this comes out correctly <laughs> based on how I'm doing this. So I have the T25 and then I have this. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to just mark it off as I go. And as you can see, it's five weeks up here and then it's five weeks down here. So I think if I follow this, I'm okay. Now... 
But the only thing is this Sunday's here, this Sunday's here, but what does that matter? Um, it also has you, uh, now I just pulled this off the internet so you can kind of see where I just kind of pulled it off. Um, uh, right there you can see. Um, but it has like a weight and then measurements like chest, waist, arms, thighs. I'm not going to do all that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep track. And basically this says, uh, nailed it, or it says barely made it. <laughs> Uh, I want to check them off. I haven't done, this is the alpha. So it tells you like which video to do each day. And so that works out well. And then the uh, this one is, um, so today is 20 sit-ups, 20 squats, 10 push-ups, 20 second plank. I think I'm reading that right. Yeah. Now, when I used to do this with my friend, so hold on, I'm going to turn this around. So when my friend and I, when he lived here, we used to go to the gym and we would do whatever, you know, depending on what it was, elliptical, whatever, whatever. And then we'd always end with a plank and we got up to, I think we got up to like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Um, and I was pretty proud, pretty darn proud of myself because they say those are pretty hard. Um, so anyway, so this one we have to get up to, at the very end, a three-minute plank. So that is going to be a big challenge for me at the end. But I am ready to kind of embrace this, do this. Okay, we're going to start this. We're going to start it. <laughs> do I look a little sweaty? I sweated. I sweated. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Woo! That was some workout. I loved it. So I marked it on the calendar. I did it. <sighs> so excited. I did both of them. I did the push-ups, the sit-ups, the squats, and the 20-minute plank, which I, I must have been doing pretty good back then because even 20 seconds was like, whoop. Um, and I did my T25 workout. So... My plan is to do <laughs> the T25 first thing in the morning because that's the one that makes me sweat. But once I do that, I feel like I can actually do the rest of it. I'm going to see how it goes. I was going to break it up during the day, like through different parts of the day. <sighs> but I noticed last time, so I did the <laughs> C10 do 10 challenge. I think I put that on one of my videos. I don't remember when. Anyway, I did that a little bit ago and <laughs> oh my God. I did it right after my T25 workout, and I actually felt really good, like able to do it. This time I did the sit-ups, the squats, the push-ups, and the plank before I did the workout, and I felt like it was very difficult for me to do. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the workout, and then I'm going to do the exercises right after. I think maybe it's like it warms up my muscle a little bit. I don't know. But I'm going to do that. Now, each of the T25s are just slightly different each time. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, everyone's going to be a little different. But they're all 25 minutes and then like a 2-3 to three minute cool down. So, it ends up being almost 30 minutes. <sighs> but it, it's like... I, I love them. I love those videos and they, some of them you need equipment and things. Some of them you don't. Uh, so if you don't have the equipment, it's not a big deal. You don't really need it. Uh, but I'll keep going along and filling you in. Um, cause I remember, I can't remember which one was my favorite, but once I get to it, I'll let you know which, <laughs> which of the T25s I love the most. Uh, so anyway, all right. Okay. Well, I'm looking a little funky, but this is what home is. Um, so, um, Norwegian did put out their notification, MSC, I did confirm, because it was like everyone else is doing until the end of the month, which is, I mean, till the middle of the month, like the, anywhere, summer, the 11th, and then I think someone else is the 15th, can't remember which one that one is, and then, um, MSC is the 29th of May, so they're all going back. There is... One, oh my gosh, which one was it? They were doing it through the end of June. Was it Holland? I'll put it here. <laughs> but they're all like, it's just one after another. They're just... 
that's it. So like I was saying earlier, I just feel like it's going to end up being, I'm thinking closer towards the end of summer when they're going to open up cruising again. I still truly believe that. I don't, I don't believe it's going to open up in May at all. So, um, I don't, sorry, I'm like, that's, it's not the truth. I mean, it's not what they're putting out there. It's just what I believe is going to happen based on the information that's being provided out there. So, yeah, so that's where we're at. That's definitely where we're at. <sighs> anyway, I uh, think that this is all a good thing for everybody because I think this gives a sense of um, urgency to this matter that uh, the hospitality travel industry and everything is taking this super seriously and that they are not going to be put in a position to start any earlier than what they deem either the government allows or even other countries allow. Um, so they recognize that the importance is to um, be able to provide whatever they can at this humanitarian time um, around the globe because we have ships, ships around the globe, right? And so that's where we're at. So, all right. So I just been catching up on a little bit of what's been happening. Um, I was going through some photos that my um, son said, can you send me some baby pictures? I'm like, sure. And so I sent him some baby. It's so fun to go through baby pictures. So I see my kids. I love that. So yeah, anyway. All right. So I don't know if that's it for the day, but that's it for right now. That's all I got for you. All right. So today was good and bad news, you know, Oh, it was like really bad news for today. So, and today is, I don't know what day it is. It's Monday, March 30th. And it was just one of those things. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, I get shot with good news and then bad news. And then, well, I don't know if good news, but I mean, I talk with family, which is really good. It makes me feel better when I've talked with them on the phone. And then bad news, a lot of bad news in the world, um, and in the United, for the United States, uh, yeah, bad news. And then, um, cruise news, a lot of cruise cancellations. I feel bad for people, but I also understand this is what we should be doing. Um, this is what the cruise line should be doing. And so, I hope people have had cruise cancellations while well, it's sad. Um, some people were even having weddings on cruises and things like that. Anniversaries. Um, Alaska seasons pretty much, I think, may not happen. Um, but we understand that we don't want to spread this disease. This is this virus. We cannot spread it. And so people get that. And that's the most important thing. And industries and hospitality, they're suffering, but they get it. So, yeah. So, and then good part is, you know, knowing that my family's happy and healthy. We're still doing pretty good. My son got notified today. His uh, people that he works with, they got notified that they're on call. Um in the industry he works in. Um, and so there may be a call back, there may not, but, and then there may be a total layoff so that way they can get unemployment. So he's in a holding pattern right now. He's not struggling. He's doing fine, um, financially. Um, but I, I always worry about him, um, you know, letting it, everybody, I worry about all my kids, you know, letting it get to them in their heads, you know, um, cause the mental part is the, is the hard part, the mental part uh, of all of this. It's the mental, you know, you're just watching the news and you're listening to things and oh my God, it just, it can get to you. It can like really get to you in the head. So everybody, please just, you know, pray for other, but other people check in with them, let them know you're thinking of them. 
uh, because this, especially people who are living by themselves or with uh, a lot of a lot of uh, children, <laughs> um, it can really it can really affect them when they have no outlet. So um, please check in with people. All right. Well, that's it for today. <sighs> March. What is today? March thirtieth. Yeah. All right. I'm praying for uh, all the people on the front lines. And you all take care. Have a safe day.